Hello everyone and welcome to our assembly, a slightly different assembly today. We're not all together in the gym hall or in classrooms, but rather you're joining us at home, which is brilliant. The plan for today's assembly is that we are going to hear from Mrs Browning about the launch of our new Building Resilience theme. And then the senior leadership team, myself, Mr. Aitchison and Mrs. Norman are going to set you a little challenge, so please stay tuned for that. Hi there, boys and girls. It's great that you can join us for today's launch assembly of our Building Resilience Unit, our new one for this term, and it is Get Active. We're going to find out about how Skipper can help us to deal with some of the ups and downs of life by getting active. So, Get Active. To keep the body in good health is a duty, said Buddha. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our minds strong and clear. It's really important, boys and girls, that we are active physically in our body so that our minds can be as active and as useful to us as they possibly can be. Skipper, as you know, has found that these 10 things help him to cope with the river of life. We've already looked at keep connected, respect yourself, challenge your mindset, take a moment, talk things over, and now we're looking at get active. So in this unit, get active, we'll, we're going to cover being active is not only good for the body, but also for the mind, as we've said. We're also going to cover, I have a range of hobbies and interests that I enjoy doing. And finally, we're going to cover doing anything new involves taking a risk. Skipper had a bad day. He's not feeling his usual self and he just doesn't know why. He sits on his boat and he doesn't feel like doing anything. If you ever, I wonder if you ever feel like that. I know I do sometimes. He's feeling a bit fed up. Ask yourself, can you think of a time when you felt like that? You might like to pause the video and tell somebody about it, or you might just like to have a think. Being active is not only good for the body, but also for the mind. Sometimes we don't feel like doing anything. One of Skipper's friends suggests they go for a cycle ride. Skipper doesn't feel like it. He would rather stay on his boat and do nothing at all. Being active is good for you though. Being active is good for the body and the mind. It helps you to learn better at school, to sleep better at night. It improves your mood. It gives you energy and it keeps our heart, hearts healthy. I have a range of hobbies and interests that I enjoy doing. Try to do things that you enjoy, boys and girls. It's important to find hobbies that you enjoy doing in your spare time, especially at the moment when we're at home an awful lot of the time. They can be fun and they help you to relax and feel better as you go on your journey along the river of life. And I must say, whilst drums and um, recorders and flutes and things look like lots of fun, I would check at home if that's going to help keep everybody else in the household happy. But there are lots of different hobbies that we've got that can, we can enjoy doing. Tell your shoulder partner or somebody at home, what things do you enjoy doing in your spare time? When we have fun, we can't help but smile. Skipper enjoys having fun playing with his friends and laughing at their jokes. When he smiles, his whole body relaxes and he feels good. And I tell you, boys and girls, I really enjoy seeing your faces on um, the screen, or at least the faces of the boys and girls in my class and in the crazy readers group that I've been. Um, it's lovely. Um, it's lovely seeing your faces and seeing your smiles. And if you can join your class uh, meeting for, for just even getting that out of it, that's a good thing. But we've got people at home that we can laugh and have fun with as well. Why not try it for yourself? Remember, we can't, we can have fun Sorry, when we have fun, we can't help but smile. Doing anything new involves taking a risk. Taking a risk can be a good thing. Even though Skipper doesn't think he'll enjoy the cycling, he agrees to go. He ends up having a great time and begins to realise that he loves cycling. 
As a result, he decides to make cycling a regular hobby. And if you've got a bicycle or a scooter, that's a great thing to be doing at the moment, especially when the snow's not here. It was worth taking the risk to try something new. Otherwise, he may never have discovered something he ended up enjoying. It's always worth taking a risk, a measured risk, if, it think, if you think it might be something that you enjoy. Don't wait until you feel like getting active. Skipper has learned that to get as we have to get active to feel better, rather than wait until we feel better to get active. I wonder if you, I wonder if you ever feel like that. Skipper knows that getting active can be fun. Now it's your turn. Shuffle with us. Shuffle with us. And this is a clip that we will put a link into your um, class page for because it's lots of fun. Something that it's something that is worth. Um, having a go at again and again. There's a class task for this um, block and that is together and as a class your teacher will organise how you're going to do this. Make a list of all the things that you do that can recharge your back. Think of things, think of things that you enjoy or that help you to relax, have fun or feel better. And at home, boys and girls, some of you may have already done this, but do something new for 30 days is a challenge that you and your family can take part in. Together, identify something new that you're going to improve to improve your health. Everybody's Body is a fishy music song. And again, we'll post into the um, chat the link to um, fishy music. And this is a song that's called My Body, Your Body, Everybody's Body. Um, and it's really worth listening to. Here are the words. And to finish off, boys and girls, Michael Jordan, famous sportsman, said about getting active, just play, have fun, enjoy the game. So I hope you've enjoyed this morning's or this afternoon's launch assembly. And I hope you get the message from it that we're going to be getting active. So inspired by the building resilience theme of Get Active, the SLT are going to set you all a weekly challenge. This week's challenge is a reaction challenge. It'll get you moving in your home and you've got to try and move as fast as you possibly can. Now, Mr. Aitchison and Mrs. Norman have already given this a go and we're going to see them giving it a go. And the aim this week is to see if you can either beat your own score or beat their scores. I will definitely be giving that a go as well. We will give you all of the details on how to download the app for this challenge at the end of the assembly. more than last time.
So you'll see from Mr. Aitchison and Mrs. Norman's brilliantly demonstrated efforts at this week's reaction challenge that it's a lot of fun, but can be great competition too. So that gives us target to work towards. You'll get a minute to try and hit as many of the green buttons as you possibly can. And feel free to share these with us. You can share it on your team's channels and we can even share it on Twitter. That'd be fantastic. Good luck everybody and have fun getting active this week.